So a few days ago, you guys, we told you the story of um, St. Obi, the story of his marriage, according to his friend, the reason why he passed. His friend actually claimed that his marriage was one of the reasons, or his marriage was actually the reason why St. Obi passed. You're welcome to the channel. It is The Rose Show. Do well to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. So you guys, in another news, St. Obi's sisters have put out an official statement talking about the fact that um, what the friend said, what St. Obi's friend claimed, you know, that St. Obi's life was cut short because of the kind of wife he got married to. That is all false. They put out a statement and this is what they said. So they acknowledged that they had seen the posts from St. Obi's friends and that the commentaries portraying his widow in an unfair and defamatory manner. This is in no way, shape or form an accurate portrayal of the Linda that we know and relate with. They claim that um, his friend, Mr. Kafo, did not consult the family before putting out that post. So therefore, they come up with you for the post. They don't want to have anything to do with it. They said the posts are false, malicious, and insensitive to the wife, um, his children, and the family that he, St. Obi, left behind. But I'm still on the matter. There's another post making rounds where another of his friends claimed that his marriage too was having issues. His friend, Zeb Ejiro, you know, um, spoke about his last conversation with St. Obi. And he said two weeks before St. Obi passed, St. Obi called him and was telling him that, oh, I'm not feeling fine. I've had multiple surgeries, but I'm not feeling better and everything. And after St. Obi called him, you know, two weeks later, he hears that St. Obi had died. And I'm like, oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Is this really your friend? He tells you he's in this kind of serious situation and he calls you to tell you that, oh, he's sick. And you don't call him again until he passed two whole weeks. I know that people will say, oh, life is happening and everybody has moved on. Maybe they were not as close as they used to be anymore because if we follow what the first friend said, um, he had actually drifted from a lot of his friends because of his marriage and everything. So maybe now he's trying to come back and they move past the whole matter. I feel like if he was trying to come back and you guys have moved past the whole matter, maybe, you know, um, you would have just let the whole thing die down. But other people are of the opinion that his friends are talking about this issue so that men too will speak up. You know, men who are going through issues will speak up and you will not shut up and die in silence. So there are two ways to this. Those people who say, oh, don't tell these men to shut up. Let them talk about their friend's experience but my issue is if you're going to talk about your friend's experience in his death i hope you were there for him in his lifetime because if you were not you are as bad as the wife that you're um, blaming for his demise let me know your thoughts are guys in the comment section also these pictures have been making rounds on social media this is saint obi's park and this house is said to be St. Obi's house in his village in Imo State. It's so sad that he had to, you know, I think that's what death does. You know, when people um, lose their lives, you leave everything that you are, whatever you have here, you are leaving it and you're going. That's why we keep on saying fight for yourself, fight for your life. Especially if you feel like you're in an abusive relationship. You don't have to feel if you're in an abusive relationship. Please fight for your life. Put yourself first. So now, like I always say, the dead people, they tell no tales. You would never know. St. Obi's friends are saying his wife his marriage was the cause his sisters are saying no the wife is a good woman he, he, he um, this whole thing that his friends are claiming never happened we don't know which one it is it's possible that the sisters don't just want any bad you know bad thing on his name like we know him is a legend so let him remain like that so they are feeling like oh he's already gone whatever they say about his wife or not it doesn't change anything you get so we don't know which one is which we don't know who is saying the truth if saint Obi was here maybe he would have granted an interview to debunk or to say whatever his truth is but he's no longer here sadly very very sad and we just hope that his soul rests in peace so you guys, I want to know what your thoughts are in the comment section. It's the Rose Show. I thank you for watching. Like, share and subscribe to the channel. Follow us on our Facebook page. I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.